Amber Alert issued last week by state authorities is raising some questions about what exactly prompts this type of alert. Amber Alerts immediately go on people's phones and break into news programming because of the seriousness of the situation. In this case, the four children were located safe in the custody of a relative in Upper Michigan. As we first told you last week, the mother of the children, named as a suspect in that alert, reached out to us, confused as to why that alert was issued. Well, tonight, Green Bay Police are explaining their role in the case. In the story you will only see here, see here on Action 2 News, Brittany Schmidt sits down with a lead detective in the case who walks us through their court-ordered involvement. I have no bias towards them or against them. Like, I don't know them. I never met them. I, but when I'm tasked with a job, I have to do that job. And I have to do it fairly and by the law. Sensitive crime detective Craig Bray with the Green Bay Police Department first got assigned the case on Thursday afternoon when he received an email that showed four court orders called capious orders signed by a Brown County Court Commissioner for each of the four kids. It's similar to like a bench warrant or, or like a warrant to make sure people show up to court. Why was CPS trying to locate the kids? Uh, I don't know all the details of that other than there were some concerns for their um, health and safety. Bray says it's his understanding Child Protective Services, tasked with overseeing the kids, had contact with Deanna Ward, the children's mother, and the children on Wednesday. The very next day, Thursday, CPS says they missed a court date and had the courts issue the capious orders. I asked Detective Bray why CPS was concerned if there was only one missed date, but he says there were other missed appointments. They missed several appointments, oh. um, in, in my understanding, in Michigan, because there was also Michigan Health and Human Services was involved. Before you guys got involved, what did CPS do to try to locate them? I'm not sure what steps CPS took. Um, I, I did, was able to communicate with CPS a little bit that night, but it was in the later hours. Um, you know, they don't operate like a police department where they you know, are staffed all you know, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, but they were able to provide me with the information um, that we needed at that point to uh, con continue with our investigation. Bray says he started texting both parents, Deanna and Juwan, on Thursday, asking them where the kids were. She would say stuff like, well, I will see if I can find the kids. They're with my mom. Um, that's about all she would really say. And then, then at one point she informed us that uh, the children were possibly out of, not either in Wisconsin or Michigan, uh, but other locations across the country. But we weren't getting a, a direct answer as to exactly where the children were. Bray says officers were looking for the parents and checked several locations. Authorities in Upper Michigan were also looking for the kids. Meanwhile, communication remained open with the parents, who told us last week they didn't have custody of their four kids. Well, how can somebody produce their kids if they don't have custody Correct. of them? The, the court order said to find the kids I, who, had, who exactly had custody at the time. Um, I don't know. Uh, but we did know that mom had knowledge of where the children were and that she was, uh, I feel, misleading the investigation. Bray says he had contact with the parents until about 11 at night. He sent them pictures of the legal court orders. Is that what you sent her? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. That's exactly what I sent them. Okay. When the parents stopped responding, the kids were still missing and considered endangered based on medical needs. But the mom told me that her kids don't take daily medication. The information provided me that day is that they're supposed to be on a daily medication. Now, what that medication is, I have no idea. And what it's for, I have no idea. An Amber Alert was issued by the DOJ's Division of Criminal Investigation around 2 a.m. They are the ones who make the call in issuing an alert. DCI agents and the FBI responded. The children's parents were found, interviewed, and the children were found safe in Upper Michigan with a relative and taken into custody. I understand mom is upset, and, and, and we get that. Uh, but I was clearly communicating with her and Dewan, um, and all we asked for was cooperation. I, I was not trying to, um, you know, take her children without her knowledge, or I was very open and honest that the KPS was issued. To date, charges have not been filed against the parents. I'm Brittany Schmidt for Action 2 News.